Disclaimer that when I work out, I'm there to work out. I am not there to look necessarily cute. Honestly, don't know how amazing they look in the back. Again, we all know that I don't care that much. Braiding along. Do -de -de do do. Hello, beautiful humans. Check out that sunset going on back there. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I make videos about all kinds of things, health related, hair related, and you know, always making new content all the time. So who knows what will come out next. I am about to go to the gym and one of the videos recently requested was how to style short hair for the gym because I know a lot of people worry about what they're gonna do when they can't put it all back into a ponytail anymore. So I have four very simple, very fast, hairstyles that you can do before you go to the gym. They require just hair elastics and that's it because I don't really like putting in tons of clips and bobby pins and stuff into my hair. So I hope you guys find this video useful and please share it with uh, any of your short haired friends that might need some tips and tricks to style your hair for the gym. Okay, so let's get started with day one. Okay, so we're just gonna jump right into this. I am already almost late to the gym. I gotta be there really soon, so this is the hairstyle I would do when I have no time and I gotta go to the gym. Disclaimer that when I work out, I'm there to work out. I am not there to look necessarily cute. It's not one of my priorities. When I work out, I work out generally at a fairly high intensity. I do CrossFit, we're jumping around, lots of sweating. So it's no matter what, I'm not gonna put a ton of effort into how I look at the gym because I'm there to do work. So this is what I'm gonna do today. I've decided last minute to give this a try. I actually haven't done this one yet, but I feel like it's going to work. So my hair is about chin length, as you can see. Um, it can almost all fit into a ponytail. It will probably fall out when I am jumping around today at the gym. So all I'm gonna do is do a half pony with a thinner elastic so that the elastic's not totally like creating a large bump on the top of my head. And then I'm gonna take a thicker elastic and simply tie up the bottom half of my hair. Now this isn't rocket science, but I figured that I would run you guys through how I style my hair. I go to the gym usually five days a week, so this is day one, this is look one. It's not the most amazing, but it's definitely effective. Got my little ponytail, everything's gonna be out of my face, and I'm ready to make some gains. But wait, I just went in my bathroom and found I had a bunch of these hair bands from a long time ago when I had half my head shaved once. I was growing it out and I had like this poof of hair growing off the side of my head. So I invested in some of these hair bands. These ones I believe are Under Armour. And so as you can see, I've got my two ponytails and I actually just tossed on this hair band to keep any little bits that might fall out. But I did put the little back part into a little bun. For some reason, I like that better than having a ponytail shooting up the back of my head. Now I'm ready to go to the gym. Short hair style, numero uno. Hello, so we are now at day two. Um, I have a little bit more time right now before the gym, so I'm gonna try something a little more complicated. To be honest, just so you know, I'm totally making these up each day as I go. So for this next style, there's gonna be a little complexity involved because I plan to use a French braid. So if you don't know how to French braid, it's time to start practicing. Um, it's not that hard and uh, there's lots of tutorials on YouTube about how to French braid. I'm not gonna be able to teach you that today, but what I'm gonna do is I'm planning on French braiding the front portion of my hair because it's so short, little pieces tend to fall out if I just tried to pull it all back into like a little ponytail. So I thought to save my sanity during my workout today, I would French braid these little pieces in like so. So I'm basically braiding and as you go down, you just grab bits of hair and continue braiding. So I'm just putting it in elastic right now so that it stays in that braid. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. There's a lot less hair, 
on this side of this lathe. So, cause I have like a crazy cowlick in the front of my head. So my hair just naturally parts a lot on the one side. Or so my hair just naturally parts pretty deep on this side over. And so a lot of the hair is over there. So I'm just doing the same thing, braiding along. Do -de -de do as far down as I can go. And I'm not a huge fan of pigtails, but I think this might actually turn into a pigtail look because it actually looks pretty cute. Once again, you can take your time doing this in the mirror, make sure your braids are perfect, there's no bumps, all that sort of thing. I'm gonna go work out right now and sweat my brains off. So I'm not too worried about how perfect these are. Now you can see I have two very quickly done uneven braids on the side of my head. This is how you keep short hair from falling out into your face without using 10,000 bobby pins, which I don't wanna do. Now, I don't really like the pigtail look myself. You can keep it if you want, but I'm actually just gonna end up taking a thicker elastic at the very back and just grabbing whatever little bitty hairs I can. Do a teeny tiny little ponytail in the back. Now, I have no idea how that looks in the back. I hope it looks decent, but I'm gonna go work out now and my hair is now all out of my face. Super happy. So when you cut your hair short, it's not game over because you can't put it in a ponytail anymore. There's plenty of options. This is day two. Look at me. Look at this. We got this. Oh. Yeah, no, we're good. This was look numero adults. Hello. Are you ready for look three? I have a little bit of more time than usual before the gym again. I already have my gym clothes on. Can't really see. Um, so this hairstyle I'm going to do now is kind of a twist on pigtails because as I've mentioned before, not a fan of pigtails. I'm, they're fine on other people. I'm not judging or anything like that. It just doesn't match my personality. I'm not a pigtail kind of person. But I do feel a pigtail bun is not the same thing. So um, what I'm gonna do basically is part my hair the way that it, I basically have two parts, this side, that side. It can go down the middle, but that for me just looks weird. My arsenal for this hairstyle is two elastics. I have a thicker one and a thinner one purchased from the dollar store. And I'm just gonna put them together like this, haphazardly part my hair down the middle so I don't really care, because again, we're going to go work out. And I'm putting it in a low pigtail so that it keep, it gathers up all my hair. I still have that much hair left over actually considering maybe going a little bit shorter. Okay, so grabbing the hair down in a low pigtail situation, taking the elastics, wrapping around once, twice, and on the third time, I'm just gonna halfway, not pull my hair all the way through, boom, pigtail bun. The real trick with this is to get the buns even, which, you know, whatever. But I'll try. Here we go. One, two. This one I'm gonna go through four times because this side I have less hair. Going through. Boom. Bun. They feel a little crooked, but again, gonna go work out, so I'm not so worried about it. Here's how it looks. Here goes what the back looks like. But my hair is out of my face, and that's all that really matters at the end of the day, isn't it? Voila, numero. What do you think? Huh? Huh? Have you tried this one before? I like it. I'm excited. I'm gonna go work out. Let's do this. Okay, so we are going to be doing the final hairstyle for this video, which is going to be again super simple. And as always, I'm in a hurry. So this last look is, you know, similar to the others in terms of. I just want my hair out of my face. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist the front of my hair to make sure I get all the layers in. Cause I really just don't like having to use tons of bobby pins in my hair. And I'm going to take an elastic. My hair is parted a bit down the middle on the back. I'm gonna secure that 
with an elastic. Boom. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Twisting, twisting, twisting. So similar to like the whole braid thing, but when you don't have time to braid. Twist, twist, twist. Secure that with an elastic. I'm gonna get in there. So as you know, I do not like to have pigtails. This is a pigtail situation. You can leave it like this if you like to have pigtails. If not, take one more elastic, gather it up in the back, and put it in one, one ponytail. Tighten it. Literally, it took me zero time. Having short hair, long hair, you always have the option of wearing a very cute, adorable headband, so or a bandana. I'm not really that great at tying bandanas, so I like this headband. So anyways, this is my last look for today. And yeah, you guys saw, I did all those hairstyles in real time, so it's seriously how long it took me to do them. Let me quickly show you the back. I hope that it looks okay. It feels good, feels snug, feels secure. Nothing's gonna fall out. Took me zero time feeling good about it. Honestly, don't know how amazing they look in the back. Again, we all know that I don't care that much. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I made it because that is what you asked for in the comments below. So feel free to comment below about a new video you wish to see, or if you have any questions, comments, and hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, the notification bell so that you can be updated when new videos are posted to my channel because I do them sporadically. It's not systematic but I'm trying to do one a week. So thank you so much. See you guys soon. Have a great week. Bye.